Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my current favorites, so products that I have been loving for the month of December and January. I'm actually really excited that it's finally February. I always feel like January feels like three months. Like it drags out, it's super long, it's always like really hard to get back in the swing of things after like the holidays and everything, so I'm excited for February. But yeah, I have some great products here to share with you guys. A little bit of everything actually, some makeup, some skincare, some jewelry, and just some really good stuff. So I hope you enjoy, make sure you grab a snack and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into some current beauty favorites all right so let's start with a little bit of skincare first product I have is actually from elf it is the mint melt whipped face mask so I just talked about this in my current video that I did like on my your skin but better everyday makeup routine but I love this whipped face mask it is so good super hydrating I think a perfect face mask for the winter my skin has been very dry the past couple weeks and I have been loving incorporating this in my weekly skincare routine so I use this one a week sometimes twice a week if my skin's super dry in the morning or at night and what I really like about it is that when it hardens it doesn't tighten and feel dry on the skin a lot of masks they're really good but they dry out my skin so that's what makes me actually super excited to put this on my skin every week because I know that it's not going to strip my skin it just makes it super hydrated very moisturized so if you need a little extra boost in your skincare routine I think this is perfect morning or night and it smells like mint it's very refreshing so I have been loving this another skincare product that I love is the Tula protect and glow daily sun sunscreen gel and I have tried many different SPFs I've actually tried a different one from Tula that I really like but this one is so hydrating and glowy on the skin I'm all about like that inner natural kind of JLo glow and this does that for me it is pricey I have to admit you guys know I love my drugstore stuff so I'll be the first to tell you if a high-end product is worth it but this is definitely worth it I mean I've had this for a few weeks at this point and I still have a lot of product left I am pretty generous with it but I love this for my neck my face even my hands I'll use some extra product on there and I feel like it's just a very very great glowy hydrating SPF if you're not into a glow you're not gonna like this product but if you want some hydration and a pretty glow to your skin I think this is really pretty I love this under makeup it works really well there's no white cast it melts into the skin it's invisible and it's just a beautiful glowy SPF I think if you have normal or dry skin you'll really enjoy this so this is all that I've been using but a good alternative actually is the Pacifica vegan collagen everyday lotion this has SPF 30 in it and it's a little bit more affordable than the Tula one and I feel like I get a very similar effect it's not identical I do like the Tula one more because I feel like it's a little bit more hydrating but this one from Pacifica is nice because it is moisturizing and it does give you a really pretty glow it's just not as intense as the Tula one I love them both but I feel like this is a great alternative and I do like this one as well because it does melt into the skin really nicely next up I have a new spray that I've been loving this is the collab grand finale three-in-one hydrating makeup mist so you can basically use this as a primer water and as a setting spray and I love it because of the mist and the way that it makes my skin feel so how has a really light mist kind of like the Fenty Beauty spray which I don't love that one because I feel like it doesn't disperse the spray evenly throughout my face but this one does so I feel like it's like a better alternative to the Fenty one and it's more affordable and I like how it's like a three-in-one product and with this kind of really light mist I feel like if your face ever is super powdery or it feels a little bit heavy and you need a little bit of a boost this is a great spray because it's not harsh or aggressive on the skin so when you spray it it really melts your powders into the skin a little bit more gives you a little bit of like that refreshed hydrated feeling but it's not too much on the skin so I have really been loving it especially with like my drier skin lately this has been my favorite before and after makeup next up I have a lot of these products I have been talking about them in my recent videos so if you know you know but I have the elf camo CC cream I'm wearing this today I love this so much I tested this out when this first launched back in the beginning or like mid December and ever since then I have been using it every time I do my makeup pretty much it's a great everyday CC cream literally your skin but better it's basically going to give you the coverage of a foundation foundation but it's gonna feel like something much lighter than a foundation it feels like a BB cream on my skin but the coverage is like literally insane if you have a lot to cover up or even if you don't have a lot to cover up this is a great product to use for every day or even for a more glam look it's beautiful it's long wearing the finish is natural so I feel like even if you have dry skin oily skin normal skin you can get away with using it it's really just about your skin prep but let me tell you a little bit goes a long way so if you don't have a lot to cover up don't even use an entire pump because you're not gonna need it I usually use less than half a pump and it's perfect and it covers covers up my entire face and more so it's the best I'm in the shade light 240 W and if you're looking for something that is an exact it cosmetics dupe I have to say this one's really good speaking of elf I have a couple other elf products in here 
they have these putty blushes, you guys, and these are so incredible. Definitely Fenty dupes. I love the formula of these. The texture is really nice. They're very lightweight. If you are familiar with the new cream blushes from Rare Beauty, I have to say these are very similar, but they're a little bit less pigmented. So I think perfect for just a really light wash of color. I honestly prefer the formula of these a little bit more because they're not as glowy and like dewy on the skin. I mean, I do love that dewy skin look, but sometimes with some blushes, it can look a little bit too much. And the ones from Rare Beauty are intense and very, very glowy. And I feel like these are more of like a toned down version of that. So they're a little bit less pigmented than the Rare Beauty ones, but they're a little bit more pigmented than the ones from Fenty. They're like that perfect happy medium everyday putty blush. I love the color Bahamas and Bali. Texture is great. Formula is great. And I feel like for every day, these are a beautiful formula. They come in a bunch of other colors. So I'm also super excited to be wearing this in the spring and summertime because it's literally the perfect shade. So look out for a cream blush and bronzer video, but this has definitely been like my favorite lately because it just gives you that perfect wash of color. Other cream blushes that I have been loving are these from Believe Beauty. These are extremely pigmented. Like it's actually insane. I didn't really think anything of these when I tried them out. I mean, I love Believe Beauty, but these are definitely, in my opinion, better than Fenty Beauty or anything. They're comparable to the e.l.f. ones, but they're much more pigmented. If you like a lot of pigment with your cream products, I think you'll really like these. And I think also like the colors are a little bit different. With e.l.f., you have more variety as far as colors. With Believe Beauty, you only get two shades. So hopefully they do expand in the future. But yeah, these are incredibly pigmented and really, really gorgeous and very blendable into the skin for literally like four or five dollars. You can get these at Dollar General. The first time that I used these, if you go back to my first impressions video, I'll link that down below. It was just like blending in and like two seconds, like a dream. They're not only super pigmented and very pretty and long wearing on the skin, but the formula is everything. Very comparable to high end. So the color that I have is Doll Face, which is a very wearable pink. And then I love the color Tropical Sunset. This is more of like an orangey kind of coral shade. So I think for every day, if you want something lighter, go with this color. And then if you want something a little bit brighter, this is intense. But like I said, these are very pigmented. So be careful with how much you're using because it's intense. Like the swatch does not do it justice. I'm telling you, you actually have it on your face, it's on another level. So even though these are only two colors and these are lighter, even if you are a little bit tanner than me, you can definitely get away with wearing these because that's how pigmented and bold they are on the skin. But again, they blend like a dream, which I love. Wanted to give a quick honorable mention to the new e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. Ever since I tested this out in my testing new drugstore makeup video last month, I have been using this pretty much every time I do my makeup. The wand is rubberized, kind of like the CoverGirl ones, but it's not as hard on your lash band. But for me, this mascara gives me length, separation, and thickness. It's also super black, which I find that a lot of mascaras aren't extremely black, but this one actually is. I love it for my lower lashes, my top lashes, and I have like really baby, like barely their lashes, but this actually makes them pop and it separates them and I can notice a difference. I was having one of my like super emotional days the other day and I was actually crying when I was wearing this mascara and it doesn't run, but it's not a waterproof formula because when I go in and I actually take my makeup remover to dissolve everything, it does come off. But like when I was crying, I didn't have like mascara all over my face, which was very surprising because I was crying a lot. Like it was one of those moments where I was just like sobbing. But yeah, this is a great mascara. I love it and it's only six bucks. So check it out. Since we're talking about e.l.f., let's talk about these glosses. No, this video is not sponsored by e.l.f., but you guys already know how much I love their products. I have been really loving their lip plumping lip glosses from their Mint Melt collection. These are really nice because they're actually not super like plumping on the lips at all. Like they don't sting or burn. A lot of plumping lip glosses I can't really use because they literally will irritate my lips, but these are perfect. They're a great formula, great colors, and they feel really nice on the lips. So I love the color mint chocolate. This is like the lighter color, really beautiful with lip liner or just on its own. I really, really like it because it just gives you the perfect wash of color and that juicy wet look on the lips. And then the color that I'm actually wearing over top of some lipstick today is chocolate chip. I love a good chocolate brown wearable lip gloss and this is it. I even like to mix these as well. It just kind of gives that like your lips but better color. So on their own, they're beautiful with lip liner or over top of a lipstick. And I feel like they make your lip products underneath last very long. You just can't go wrong with a good brown glossy lip. Just to show you how it goes on, like it's kind of sheer, but it's also kind of pigmented. So it's like literally the perfect kind of mix in between. And it's not like a sticky, globby lip gloss. It's really smooth and creamy. There's no shimmer. They're just beautiful everyday shades. Wanted to shout out a concealer that I have been loving. This one is from Rare Beauty. I have mine in the shade 200C. So I've been really into kind of like that natural, effortless, your skin but better kind of makeup look. I just did a video on it. If you guys watched it, you saw this in action. But I love this concealer paired with the foundation. 
foundation from elf or cc cream i keep thinking it's like a foundation because it gives me the coverage of a foundation but this with the cc cream is so pretty but even with other foundations or anything else because i have tried it with a couple different products and it works really well because it just gives you like that natural kind of bright look it's not a full coverage concealer it is like a natural medium coverage but i find that whenever you kind of let it sit on your under eyes for about a minute or two and then you blend it out it gives you a little bit more than medium coverage and it's so beautiful it's so creamy very hydrating i mean i do have like those fine lines that i feel like most of us do but i feel like it doesn't accentuate them in an excessive way like no matter what i do i'm always going to have these fine lines under here but it's not bad and i just love how hydrating it is under my eyes because i feel like i said lately with my skin i need all the hydrating products i can get and this formula is perfect speaking of under eyes i wanted to mention this bare minerals it's called a concealer but it's a powder so the bare minerals eye brightener and this one i have in the shade well rested so basically what this is you'll see it in an upcoming makeup tutorial i actually forgot to mention it in my everyday like your skin but better makeup look but what this product is it's basically an under eye brightener and once i'm done basically all of my base like my complexion products i go in with a smaller brush this one is from bh cosmetics i take the powder put it on the lid and then i put it right under my eyes and it just naturally brightens up my under eyes so i have it on today what i did today with my combo is i used the rare beauty concealer and then i set that with my haley's beauty retouch perfecting loose setting powder which i love this is a beautiful really smoothing powder but i wanted something a little bit brighter under my eyes especially because this concealer isn't super full coverage so i went in with this and it's so beautiful whenever i'm wearing like a more glam look or i just want a little bit more of a highlighted look under my eyes but i don't want it to look stark white i go in with this product and it just like naturally brightens up the look but yeah i don't know why this is called concealer because it's literally a powder and i use it after all of my other powders and it gives me the most beautiful natural effortless highlighted under eye look that i love there's no white cast it looks really great in pictures and sometimes if i really want to concentrate the product and be a little bit more precise on my under eyes i will use something smaller this one is the real technique setting brush and it fits perfectly under here so if you want to concentrate the product a little bit more and be a little bit more precise under your eyes this is a great little brush to use with this product so depending on the kind of look that i'm doing depends on the brush that i use sometimes i use this bigger one from bh cosmetics other times i use the one from real techniques okay the last two things are random so i have a new straightener and some jewelry that i wanted to shout out so first let's talk about this straightener you guys i did a marshall's haul about like two weeks ago and i mentioned that i got a new straightener this one is from the brand foxy bay so here's my little update on it long story short i love it 20 out of 10 would recommend it it's amazing i've been using my ghd gold straightener and honestly i don't love it and they actually sent me a different straightener about like two months or so ago tried it out and i also didn't love it i don't know why i just feel like their straighteners just don't really work with my hair they don't straighten it all the way and it always looks a little bit wavy even after spending like 20 25 minutes straightening my hair and you would think it would take less time because my hair is shorter but my hair is so thick i literally have to get it thinned out every time i go get it cut or get it dyed or anything but i have been on the hunt for like the perfect straightener where it doesn't take me a long time and it just gives me that sleek kind of like salon polished look and i found one so i got this one from marshall's it was 35 dollars, and i am so impressed with this you guys like the literally the first day that i used this i was like this is amazing like where has this been all my life i actually want to try more of their hot tools because i'm really impressed with this the plates on here are rose gold they're super thin and i like how they're a little bit longer than your traditional straightener hold on sorry my camera's not focusing there we go okay so you can see they're a little bit bigger so i can straighten my hair faster and it gives me that salon sleek look like literally i just got it done especially when i wash my hair and then i let it air dry and then style it it looks so polished and so sleek i love it so i love the straightener it's really good if you have long hair short hair i think you will also love it because again i feel like since the plates are a little bit bigger it cuts the straightening time almost in half at least for me like i can straighten my hair in like six seven minutes and be good so i love this it's amazing and I got a good deal on it. I also wanted to shout out some jewelry that I have been using, loving, basically nonstop since the fall. So all the jewelry that I'm wearing today, minus my watch, this is from Michael Kors, by the way, I got this from TJ Maxx, but all of the jewelry that I've been wearing for the most part is either from Target or Miranda Fry Jewelry. Back in October, I made a huge order because I was kind of on the fence about everything, but I've seen so many other YouTubers and people on Instagram raving about their jewelry. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I've been wearing their jewelry like nonstop since back in the fall. And then a few weeks ago, they actually reached out and I'm now an affiliate with them, which is amazing. I'm always so grateful to be able to be an affiliate with brands also, again, that I use all the time. So yeah, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite pieces if you are looking into splurging, shopping on Miranda Fry Jewelry. This stuff is a little bit pricier, but I have to say the quality definitely matches the price for me. It's amazing. Also, what I love about their stuff 
is that you can layer it and it's very practical for every single day. So you can definitely like use it up and get your money's worth from the jewelry. So some of my favorite pieces, the first one are these earrings. These are the Drew Huggies and they are the perfect everyday chunky little hoops. Have them in gold, have them in silver and I love them on their own or sometimes I'll even add another earring in my second hole and I love the way these look with so many different outfits because they're very simple but I just love that little chunky hoop moment. Like they're just so cute. I also love, I'm not wearing it today, but the Stephanie necklace. I also have that in silver and gold and that is like one of my favorite everyday necklaces because again, it goes with everything and it's so dainty and just so pretty. And today I'm wearing the Kate choker. This gold choker I think is beautiful on its own or you can also layer it with two or three necklaces and I love it. I love gold jewelry. And then the necklace that I'm wearing today, I believe this is the Lindsay necklace and I just have on a little charm. They have different charms that you can add to any one of your necklaces. This one is just the one with the um, letter on it. But of course you can get any letter. I have an H for Hector, which is my husband if you guys are new. But yeah, this is what I've been wearing pretty much. So I switch up the necklaces every once in a while, but the earrings for the most part, like these, I wear them a lot in a lot of my videos. I just love the look of them. They're so simple, but they're so cute. I'm like, I'm obsessed. So yeah, I will link Miranda Fry's website down below. You guys can look at all of their stuff. I'm actually going to place another order on their website because that's how much I love their pieces. The quality is just chef's kiss, amazing, and they have tons of variety to choose from. And I do have a coupon code. If you use code Juicy Jazz, you get 10% off. It is an affiliate code. So if you guys decide to use it, I really appreciate it. If not, no hard feelings. It's all good. So that is it for my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Lots of good stuff. Lots of amazing products. Products, so I will link everything for you guys if you want to check them out. If you have any other current favorites or new products that you guys want me to test out, let me know down below in the comments. I'm starting to make my list for my February videos and wrap up some content. So if there's anything else you guys want me to add to my list, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!